気を止めれチェックメイトだダメ押しにもう一本ぶっ飛びなおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおらおAll Star Battle R capitalizes on a lot of these very nuanced ideas. For example, Jotaro and Dio can both time stop mid match. But did you know that you can counter a time stop with a time stop? So if you are using any of these characters, Dio, Jotaro, or Jotaro Part 4, you can time stop counter someone else's time stop if you have enough meter. This allows you to move in the frozen time just like they are. To activate this, all you have to do is input the time stop during their time stop. And you'll be able to move. Also, to complete this, Jotaro is the only person in the game that can counter Dio's GHA. To counter Dio's GHA, all you have to do is put in Time Stop right as the Roll Roller is exploding, and this will happen. Also, did you know Hamon users can use EX moves and do more damage to vampires? It's little cool details like this that makes JoJo's All Star Battle R a really, really cool game. There are also a few other nuanced situations that I won't be talking about in this video for you guys to discover. If you find some, definitely share it down in the comments. Let somebody know what you found out that you could do that no one else can do in the game. And yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. Next, I want to talk to you guys about the Stylish Guard. Stylish Guard is a brand new mechanic that lets you counter someone's move into a Stylish Dodge. So, in old All Star Battle, you had a Stylish Dodge mechanic, and it carries over into this game. All you have to do was press defend at the right time, and then you would dodge out of the way of an opponent's move and have time to counter yourself. However, in this game, you have something called a Stylish Guard. Stylish Guard is a little bit less execution, but it is way more punishable. All you have to do to do Stylish Guard is you press down your rotate button and your light button, and they'll get into a stance to Stylish Dodge out of imposing attacks. Now, as I said, the only difference between these two is if you are using the Stylish Dodge the regular way. Um, you're still able to guard and move forward, move out of the move very quickly. However, in Stylish Guard, you are not able to act out of it very quickly. However, Stylish Guard, I think, is a little bit better on like wake up situations than Stylish Dodge would be. For the final lesson today, we're going to talk about taunts. Pizza mozzarella, pizza mozzarella. Lenla, 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 lenla. So taunt is only effective when the enemy is in a down state and you press the taunt button and a cinematic taunt will appear. So why does this actually matter? First of all, the mental damage. Not all battles are won with high execution. If you can tilt your opponent, then you can win sometimes, right? Secondly, it drains a full bar of meter. So if you taunt while they're down, it'll show the cutscene, but if you look in the bottom corner, it'll show the enemy's meter going down a bar. You can only do this once a match though. Thirdly, you can make unblockable setups. There's more applications than just that one. That's just an easier one. But here are a few tips to get you guys started. Um, I have way more that I could talk about later. If you want more, definitely leave a like down below to let me know that you guys are interested in learning more about these. But also, if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. We definitely have a great time around here.、Um, I do a lot of different content. I do JoJo's, I do Melty, sometimes other things than those two things. But anyway, this has been your boys that are slow. Until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, stay groovy. I'll holla at y'all later. Have a great day. Peace.